Hey there friends and enemies, Joe be here again and today we got another Monster Hunter Wilds trailer to check out, this one called The Hunter's Journey. We also got some massive news that I'm going to share after checking out the trailer because I think it is a vital part of Monster Hunter for this next entry and I cannot wait. But first, let's see what they have cooking up for us today. It's been absolutely a wild journey lately with this game. It looks crazy. The mounted combat is wild. The monsters look so sick. Why are you here? You can't do this alone. We okay, need to shake them off. Follow me. Go. Here it comes. This looks like gameplay, so it transitions right from cutscene to gameplay, which is, I think, pretty. Sick. I'm looking forward to seeing how well that actually handles the I game. Cover me. You got it. Be careful. Those monsters are really I'm really looking forward to seeing all the ones they have. So this we gun to the rocks, we may lose that them. she has is also very good. Real quick sand. Also, the dual weapons, the fact you can swap them at will, essentially. You find someplace safe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this. I don't know if that'll be the weapon for me, but mounted combat with it looks great. Also, the way the monsters are fighting each other. What is this? That's sick. A freaking wyvern and wi uh, rail cannon or something. Just watch. You will see what hunting is all about. Also, fighting in your little town, protecting the civilians, pretty sick as well. Yeah, I'm in. I cannot wait. This game is gonna be one of the best of 2025 for sure. Okay, so here is, let's see, we got save data bonus. If you've played World or World Iceborne, you'll get an armor set and a weapon. That's kind of cool. Like both of that. So if you played previous games, then you're going to get some bonuses. So it'll be interesting to see how many people will maybe go back and play Monster Hunter World and Iceborne to make sure they get this. Especially if this is going to be your first game in the franchise. But... The massive news is that at launch, Monster Hunter Wilds will be full crossplay. And I think that's huge. As somebody who plays across different platforms, being able to play a game and just having to buy it one time on one platform and being able to play with all my friends, no matter where they're found, especially a co op game of this nature. There's no PvP. I don't have to worry about any kind of. Uh, PvP changes between c controller and then uh, mouse and keyboard versus PC versus console. Anything like that doesn't matter because it is purely PvE and co-op. So I think that is phenomenal. And I hope going forward this is standard across a lot of games because I do feel like crossplay is such a vital part of the ecosystem now. Uh, you have people who just want to play with their friends and not being able to do so would have been an absolute bummer. So for me personally, massive news. Really looking forward to that. I do think Monster Hunter Wilds is going to be the first Monster Hunter game that I fully dive into deep. And so I'm really excited about that because everything I've seen so far looks right up my alley. This is going to be Again, one of the most anticipated games of 2025, in my opinion, probably going to be a potential Game of the Year candidate if they deliver on everything they've learned from Monster Hunter World and they build on that and make it even better than that previous entry. So overall, very, very excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing more about this game. They did also tease that at gamescom in august they will have an additional trailer to check out so it does feel like they're just kind of slowly giving us a bit more information showing off new monsters probably new weapons coming in the near future we've only seen the two so far so i'd imagine we'll see a third sooner rather than later but overall everything i've seen has been absolutely 
fantastic, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us next. It does look like they are really cooking with Monster Hunter Wilds, and especially for Capcom, right after Dragon's Dogma 2, it feels like they're just building on success after success. So that's exciting to see, and it sounds like it's going to be an absolutely epic game. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more Monster Hunter World content from me going forward, uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, as I continue to cover the game, or if you want to see me cover Monster Hunter World, go back and play the game, and... Uh, show off some content from that one let me know in the comments down below like the video subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously shows you want to see more monster hunter on the channel my name is jopa have a good one i'll catch you all later